Thank you very much. Dr. Mukhtar. Uh, thank you so much for organizing this, this uh, important uh, uh, event. And uh, I'm glad, uh, actually, to cover the side of my colleague, say it, since he's not here. And I have to address this very important issue in relation to uh, uh, South-North uh, relationship. Uh, because uh, you all know that this is a hot issue that is uh, uh, maintaining the interest and attraction of uh, many at the regional and international uh, level. Uh, with regard to the relationship between Sudan and, now, and South Sudan, uh, we actually intended to have uh, uh, a good relationship uh, with our brother country, South Sudan. And as uh, you have said, that we have uh, honored uh, our agreement within the CPA, and we have uh, 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 recognized the, the referendum and its outcome. We have uh, welcomed that one. We are the first to recognize uh, the new state. And we have uh, accomplished, actually, uh, most of our commitments to the CPA. We are left with uh, one issue that is not with regard to the North-South uh, relationship, but with the uh, relation to the popular consultation uh, in the two areas, which had started in the Blue Nile and has not yet started in the uh, uh, South Kurdistan because of the developments that took place on the 5th of uh, June last uh, year. Uh, but all the other uh, 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 commitments uh, with regard to the government of Sudan, it had been uh, uh, reasonably uh, honored and, uh, and uh, fulfilled. Uh, but we have one important issue that had not been fully uh, uh, implemented by South Sudan with regard to the security arrangements. And I just refer you to the report of the AAC, the midterm report, and the final report of the AAC that indicated that uh, the uh, uh, commitment of South Sudan to uh, apply this uh, side of protocol has not uh, scored the pass mark. It is uh, at its uh, best, it was 34 point something uh, percent. This was regard to the redeployment of the South Sudan forces, SPLA, from the uh, two areas in North Dufan and in, uh, in, 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 in Blue Nile. Uh, and this is what has created and resulted uh, to uh, what had happened later until the last uh, events uh, that took place uh, or taking place right now in the two areas or with regard to the north-south relationship. Uh, uh, even though we had uh, 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 started the post-referendum negotiations in good faith under the uh, mediation of the AUHIP, that uh, led to good results in many areas that had been covered, and we are left with some other areas which are very crucial and important for the two states uh, to be uh, uh, agreed, uh, namely the issue of oil and the issue of the security uh, along the borders of North and South uh, Sudan. Uh, 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 with regard to the issue of oil, as you all know, uh, uh, Sudan uh, and South Sudan had agreed uh, under the Makale uh, MAU that we have to work for uh, two viable states. And by this we mean the economic, uh, security, social, and political viability of the two states. Uh, that entails uh, that uh, the two countries should come out of this result of the referendum if it so led to secession uh, to the viability of the economy. So our, uh, uh, our uh, platform for what we have demanded is the viability of our economy. As uh, we all know that South Sudan uh, is having the majority of uh, the oil production, uh, over 75%, and Sudan is having only 25% or less. And all the infrastructures are in the north, and uh, most of the uh, uh, oil potential is in the south. And here we have to create a sort of cooperation that will lead to the viability of the economy of the two states. Uh, hence, our uh, proposal and the proposal that had been presented by the AUHIP is uh, meant for achieving that objective of uh, the viability of our two economies. Uh, but unfortunately, every time uh, we face uh, the rejection uh, from the South, 
to all the options that had been uh, floated uh, and presented by the experts under the AUHIP. Uh, we had been stuck, uh, as you all know. Uh, Sudan was forced to uh, uh, put uh, on the table what we call the commercial option that uh, 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 charged the South uh, around $36 uh, uh, dollars per pallet uh, in order to achieve the, 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 our, the, the viability of our economy. It's not based only on commercial uh, basis, but it is based on the gap that had been agreed by parties uh, that this is a gap that will result uh, 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 as the result of the, uh, of the decision of Southern Sudan and uh, the loss of the percentage that North Sudan uh, was uh, having before prior to the secession. So this is the base. And we don't mind to have uh, the mixed uh, option, uh, that is a TFA, uh, and the regional commercial uh, uh, fees on uh, the, the, the utilization of uh, our facilities uh, from the CPFs, that is the central processing facilities, and the pipeline, and the refining, and uh, the exportation through uh, our marine terrain. Uh, this is the idea that had been uh, 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 floated by the panel, and we don't mind having an option that will lead to a reasonable deal and a win-win uh, deal between North and South. Uh, with regard to the issue of borders, we have agreed that uh, uh, we have to respect the borders of as it stands on 1156, and we had agreed uh, through our uh, uh, joint border committees on uh, four contested areas and uh, a delimited map that uh, is agreed and signed by the two parties and presented to the uh, presidency. Uh, this is the, uh, the agreement, and we are sticking to that uh, agreement. And we had opted uh, through our last uh, meetings that had been elicited in Addis Ababa to work for that uh, end and uh, to uh, uh, be assisted by uh, a panel from African experts uh, to assist the parties uh, to resolve uh, the disputed areas before we go to any uh, international arbitration. This is the, uh, what had been initial, and it was supposed to be signed uh, uh, early this month through the visit of our president to the South. But the incident that took place in Haiti actually blocked uh, the visit and blocked the final signature of this agreement. The other agreement that we had reached is the, uh, the uh, agreement on the uh, status of the nationals uh, in the two states. Uh, between two brackets, you call it citizenship, but the issue of citizenship had been resolved. Uh, every, any uh, Southern national, as per the Referendum Act, uh, has agreed to be a Southern uh, national, and the rest are, uh, will continue uh, as uh, Sudanese uh, nationals. Uh, this is the general agreement, but regardless of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of this uh, agreement, we had agreed uh, an initial that we have to have this, uh, what we call the freedoms, uh, and it had been initial, the freedom of uh, residence, the freedom of work, the freedom of uh, possession, and, and, and so on, like what we had signed with, uh, with Egypt, and it had been initial and accepted by our government too, but it also it was blocked by the, what had happened in, uh, in, uh, in his reach. Uh, with uh, the major issue that is actually tenting the relationship between the North and South is the security issues. Uh, and as I said, it, it goes uh, back through the implementation of the CPA it, uh, itself. And up to now, we are having a linkage between the SPLA and the ninth and 10th divisions in uh, the two states in northern Kurdupan, in southern Kurdupan and Brunei. We are having the continuation of support and, uh, uh, and, and, uh, and direction from the leadership of the SPLA in the south uh, towards uh, the, uh, these two divisions. We are having uh, the problem of harboring some of the uh, uh, movements that had not accepted the Doha agreement. They had been all assembled and joined with Abdul Aziz and Malik and Yasser.
and they have formed what they call the Revolution Front, and they gave them bases in South Sudan, uh, training uh, equipment and, uh, and, and so on. And uh, it is not uh, a secret that uh, the uh, groups of Khalil uh, who uh, fled uh, that war to uh, South Sudan is not a secret. The recent incursion of uh, Mini Minawi's group uh, towards uh, southern Kurdufan through Mdafog that they have occupied for a number of, uh, of, of, of hours and confiscated uh, uh, the uh, cars and, uh, and some uh, uh, people from that area, and they fled towards uh, Jabal Marra uh, with the intention of uh, creating another chaos in, uh, in, 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 in that world. Uh, Can I uh, also ask you to address the uh, humanitarian issue? In yes, you, I, I will. I will. I will. I will. No. Uh, so this is the, pro the problem that uh, make all the other uh, uh, issues uh, hostage to the security issue. And this is why we said that if you want to uh, have a proper relationship and a peaceful relationship between North and South, we have to address uh, the security issue. With regard to uh, the humanitarian uh, uh, situation uh, in Blue Nile and, uh, and Southern Kurdufan, we recognize that uh, the war that had been waged by the SPLA North has uh, a manifestation. One of these manifestations uh, is a security, uh, uh, lack of security, that resulted in uh, destruction of the livelihood of the people of the two states. Fortunately, in uh, Blue Nile, we have managed uh, to uh, uh, minimize uh, the expansion of the SPLA. We have uh, expanded the uh, circle of security. We have protected the, prote the, the, uh, the, the farming season uh, uh, in the Blue Nile. And the yield was very good. And even those who managed to flee to Ethiopia, uh, they are now back in, uh, in Blue Nile. We are, we are having still a pocket in uh, southern Blue Nile, around the Abus area. Uh, but uh, there is no insecurity there that will result in, uh, in, in, any, in any humanitarian uh, uh, catastrophe, uh, because the people there, they have managed to uh, grow their own uh, land, and they have uh, enough uh, supplies from the local production. Uh, but even though, if there is a need, our government is ready to address this need, and we have been actually addressing this uh, uh, problem uh, on our own way. Uh, in, in, in southern Kurdufan, the story is different. Uh, the uh, uh, farming season had been interrupted for last year because the war started in the 5th of uh, June. This is the peak of the preparation for the farming season. The people failed to uh, farm their uh, lands. Even those who managed to uh, farm, uh, there was a deliberate and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, direct uh, act from the SPLA to disrupt the uh, 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 agricultural season in, the, in, in southern Kurdufan. Uh, unfortunately, if we didn't manage to uh, address the security situation, right now in southern Kurdufan, we are going to have uh, a compound uh, humanitarian problem because the people will not farm in the uh, southern Kurdufan for the second uh, uh, rainy uh, season. And this will add to the responsibility of our government and to the responsibility of uh, our, the agencies that help us in uh, addressing the security situation that will need more uh, effort to address the gap that will result. Because the majority of the people in the, uh, uh, in the state might be in direct need for, uh, for, for uh, 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 humanitarian support. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, we had uh, had uh, a joint assessment between our government and uh, the WFP, and we recognize that uh, uh, joint assessment. Uh, now we are working hand in hand with the international community to uh, have a soft uh, a joint approach for uh, this uh, this uh, this gap that will result. And we had an initiative from the Arab League and the African Union uh, and the OIC, as all know. Our government is ready also, uh, and it was actually uh, having the full responsibility for 
most of the responsibility was covered by the government of Sudan through what we call the strategic reserve. We had managed to uh, cover the need of the states, uh, and we can't cl claim that we are covering all the needy areas in the state because some of the areas are in the hands of uh, the rebel groups. But even though, we'll think about a way that will not let the rebellion entrench and utilize this humanitarian situation to abuse uh, the need of the people and to recruit uh, the needy force uh, 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 armed conflict, because we know that uh, uh, war, uh, uh, food is one of the uh, uh, main uh, weapons that uh, the rebellion will uh, try to, uh, to, 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 to take in order to press the people to join the rebellion through their need for uh, direct uh, food support. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so to summarize, uh, uh, Dr. Tijani um, explained um, how the uh, Darfur Peace Agreement, uh, the Doha, um, the DDPA, um, was uh, somewhat different from the uh, past uh, peace agreement and how it expanded on a, uh, a number of issues um, uh, that a number of presidential decrees uh, that have been issued since last year to address the issue of Darfur, like the uh, appointment of um, Dr. Haj Adam as the uh, vice president, um, that the um, uh, a number of uh, bodies have been established to address a number of issues in Darfur, like the National Human Rights Commission, uh, a special court to address um, uh, crimes committed in Darfur. Um, uh, three priorities for the uh, regional authority, and that uh, they are um, the returnees, the IDPs, and the refugees, and how to accommodate them uh, back into Darfur. Um, the reconstruction of Darfur. Uh, and uh, what that would cost uh, and the likelihood of uh, a, a larger budget for that and that a conference that is, has been called on by Qatar, a donors conference to address that. Um, and thirdly, uh, how to um, bring the communities of Darfur back together to um, uh, sew back the, um, the, the, the social fabric of Darfur and that two conferences um, are uh, in the planning to address that. Um, Dr. Mutruf Sadiq also spoke on uh, two issues, one on the Sudan, South Sudan uh, situation as is, and that the uh, government of Sudan had uh, um, uh, showed its good intention by accepting the results of uh, the referendum but uh, not all of the issues um, that related to the CPA have been uh, implemented, uh, like the uh, popular consultations that were to be uh, implemented in Blue Nile State and in South Kurdufan and uh, uh, issues uh, related to the borders and security arrangements, uh, specifically uh, those dealing with the SPLM uh, North. Um, uh, one of the hanging issues also um, is oil and how to distribute um, the, um, the revenues of oil with most of the wells being in South Sudan, but uh, the facilities to, uh, yeah, to export oil um, are in the north. Um, negotiations have, uh, in Addis Ababa have been stuck on this um, with the uh, mediation of the African Union, uh, but uh, recent events have uh, have made those complicated, especially uh, in Haglik. Also, the issue of citizenship for South Sudanese uh, living in Sudan, North Sudan, and uh, vice versa, uh, Sudanese in South Sudan. Um, but one of the main issues also remains um, security and um, the uh, relationship between the SPL uh, North and um, uh, what uh, Dr. Mutrif called the, the, the 10th and 9th division of the SPLA uh, and how um, that has um, uh, affected uh, reaching um, reasonable security arrangements. On the humanitarian situation in uh, Blue Nile State and South Kurdufan, uh, the war has uh, had its impact on both regions, uh, interfering with the uh, farming season. Uh, less so in Blue Nile State, um, uh, where uh, the farming season to a degree has been uh, salvaged, but uh, still refugees 
have uh, fled into Ethiopia and uh, some are returning. In the case of South Kurdufan, a more complicated uh, situation where uh, the farming season um, has, has been um, greatly affected uh, and uh, the government uh, currently is working with, um, the, with WFP uh, to arrange on how to uh, manage the humanitarian situation um, there. Um, also an initiative by the Arab League, the African joint initiative by the African Union Arab League and the OIC uh, on how to um, address the humanitarian situation.